Hey there everybody, how are you doing today? Uh, today I want to show you the stainless steel version of the Bialetti mocha pot. What's unique about this is the stainless steel body allows it to be used with this induction stove, which has uh, got some uh, advantages. Uh, normally, let me just take this out of the way, when you put this on a stove, this whole area would heat up. And a problem I've had in the past with aluminum versions of these is that the handle starts to get heated up from the rest of the stove, which means that you have to move it something like this. And you have all this wasted space over here of heat just going away. The alternative to that is to put this on top of a butane gas stove and just have a really small flame underneath here and you can make your coffee that way. Uh, but in this particular situation, I'm going to demonstrate that with a induction stove. So I'm just gonna put this pad back on here. This is used to protect the induction stove, but it does not heat up because the induction stove heats the metal. So let me show you what a, a Bialetti uh, mocha pot is for those who are not familiar. What happens is water goes in the bottom. There's a coffee uh, grounds strainer inside of here and the, there's pressure that builds up and it pushes it upward into the top chamber here where it comes out and spills outward and then it uh, fills up in here. So here's the bottom part. This is the filter basket and this is where the water comes up in there and then on the top chamber there's a filter and a gasket on the inside, and that gasket's made out of silicone. On the water chamber, there's a small pressure relief valve here. So if you overpressurize this chamber or something gets clogged inside of it, it will uh, release the pressure here rather than causing uh, to burst. It's a safety feature. So the best way to make these uh, mocha pots work the best is never to put the coffee in here and boil it at the same time. So you want to start out with water inside of the chamber. And I'm just going to stop that right above, uh, right, sorry, right below the uh, pressure regulator so there's no water on, on top of it. And I just hit it with some really high heat from the induction stove while I'm prepping the rest of this. So what I do is I just get my coffee grounds in here, just finely ground coffee, 14.5 grams of coffee. And the idea here is just to smooth it over here, but not, not pack it. So just, uh, you want it loosely in here, but you do want it to cover the whole area. So just really carefully move that in place. So what I'll do is I'll just set that aside. Uh, so once the water comes up to boil, we'll put the coffee basket in here and we'll screw this on top. One of the things that I'd recommend is uh, some type of a, a pad or a glove so that you don't burn yourself because this gets pretty hot. So what I'm going to do is once that starts to boil I'm going to turn down the heat and the object here is to brew slowly. I'll just let that come up to boil. As you can see, I can put my hands here and not burn them. So I'll just move the temperature down to like a simmer. I'm going to drop my coffee in here so that it's not exposed to boiling high temperatures for too long. And then just tighten it. And the key here is to use that pressure valve as kind of a place to pivot against. So I put a little bit of pressure on there. I'll open the top. And then what we'll do is we'll let the pressure slowly come through and push that coffee up to the top there. So the idea is to do this slowly, not to uh, rigorously boil it. So you want that to come through, uh, percolate with the coffee grounds, come extract the coffee as it's going through slowly rather than really quickly. If you go too quick, you can burn the coffee and at the same time have a weak brew. 
And if you go way too slow, it'll just take you forever to have your cup of coffee. There it goes. So that's the beginning of the brew. You notice that it's very dark and you want it to be that way. As soon as this starts to sputter, cut the heat immediately and take it off of the heat. And the reason for that is that sputtering, at that point, you're over extracting. So the coffee, coffee at that point would be very bitter. So you can see it's starting to come through. It's a nice dark color still. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll cut the heat, close the lid. There you go, there's a nice cup of mocha or semi coffee espresso. Thanks for watching.